the bingo wings or the bat wings or the tuck shop arms. You may feel really self-conscious wearing sleeveless tops in the summer or feel like you can't wear nice dresses because of this. Just like our hips and our bum and our lower belly, the back of the arms is also a massive trouble area for a lot of us. So we're gonna take a two-fold approach. If you only do this workout, you will not get results. These exercises aren't going to burn the fat away from that area. Really, the only way that you're gonna be able to shape and tone that area is firstly, number one, by cleaning up your diet. I can't stress this enough. You need to ditch the processed foods, you need to start eating clean whole foods, <clears throat> and you also need to take measures to fix your sleep, manage your stress levels, balance your hormones. Watch this video here, it is game changing. Once you've done that, you will see this area start to lean up. But, newsflash, ladies. It's completely normal and it's healthy to have a little bit of fat in this area and striving to completely get rid of it is not healthy, it's not sustainable and it's completely unrealistic. So please, learn to accept yourself as you are. If it really bothers you, then I'm gonna show you a workout that is going to help shape and tone and firm and tighten that area. Most females have very underdeveloped, very weak, inactive tricep muscles. And so doing strength exercises that are going to develop and grow this muscle is gonna go a long way to making the back of your arms look their best. Now because they're little muscles, you really don't need a lot of weight. Stick to a moderate weight, and we're gonna go for slightly higher reps, and maintain your form throughout. Good form is going to help you with your mind-muscle connection, so that you can actually isolate the triceps and really feel them working. You wanna feel the burn when you do these exercises. That's when you hit the magic sweet spot. So if you go too heavy, other muscles like the shoulders and the chest are gonna take over to try and help you lift that weight. And so you defeat the purpose of trying to target that specific muscle. Or if you go too light, you're not gonna challenge them at all. So it's really about finding that sweet spot. I don't know what that weight is gonna be for you. You're gonna have to work that out, a little bit of trial and error. But the main thing is, if you're doing it right, this muscle here should be burning. We are going to be doing a circuit of supersets. So we're gonna do one exercise that targets the triceps and then one exercise that targets the biceps because those are the two muscle groups that make up the arms. That's enough talking for now. Let's get straight into this workout. Here's a breakdown of the workout that we're gonna to do today. So make sure you screenshot this so you can take it to the gym. We're gonna start off with skull crushes. This is a little bit tricky to master. Note how I'm setting myself up here. I'm taking a narrow grip on the bar, really planting my feet down, arching through the back, pushing my shoulders into the bench. The position is that I'm stable through my shoulders. So the only place that I'm hinging is through my elbows. So keep those biceps locked in place. Make sure you don't flick the wrists. I actually like to curl them upward slightly. And I'm just pushing that weight up, keeping the elbows in and forward. Don't let them splay out. Really squeezing those arms straight to contract those triceps. Aim for the bar to come to the top of your forehead. Be careful, so lower it down with control. Going straight into the next exercise of this first superset, we're gonna do an incline bicep curl. Set your bench to about 30 to 45 degree angle, and you don't have to have your feet raised. This was just comfortable for me. You can have them on the floor, that's no problem. And just make sure that you let your arms hang fully by your side. Again, we are only hinging from the elbows, so don't move your biceps forward at all. They, they stay locked in place. Don't yank on this weight and don't swing. 
lower down with control to fully straightened arms. This is the second superset of our workout, the rope push down. So this works the triceps. Keep those elbows in, lock those biceps by your side. You are only hinging from the elbows. Starting with the rope just under the chest with hands together, you're gonna push the rope down and out. So squeeze those arms straight to really contract those triceps. Release the weight back up with control. And again, try not to flick those wrists. So you're really pushing from the outer edges of your palm. If you're doing this right, it should really, really burn. Straight onto the second exercise of this superset, we're doing a barbell bicep curl. So take a grip that is just outside your hips. Same deal, you are locking those biceps by your side. So we are only hinging from the elbows from fully straightened arms you're going to bring that weight up towards your chest again don't flick those wrists i actually like to curl my wrists forward slightly make sure that you're not yanking you're not swinging the weight don't do chicken wings here where you're pushing the elbows back keep the arms locked in place but slightly forward last superset of this workout close grip elevated push-up I think it's a great compound full body movement here that's gonna work not only your triceps, but also your shoulders and your chest and your core. The focus is on the triceps here because we are taking a close grip and we're really pushing those elbows back. So again, don't let them sway. If this is too intense, you can do this on your knees as well. If you are super hardcore, you can do this from plank position straight off the floor. Finishing off our last exercise of the last superset, this is bench dips. I'm doing the advanced variation with my legs straight. If this is too intense, you can bend through the knees. Just make sure that you're not actually then hinging from the hips and using your feet to push off the floor. You want to maintain pushing off the palms of your hands and squeezing your arms straight at the top. And there you go, all done. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that arm workout. And I just wanted to reiterate that even though I'm showing you how to get rid of fat in that area and I'm showing you workouts to change your body, I want you to remember that it's completely normal and it's completely healthy to have fat in these areas. It doesn't make you ugly, it doesn't make you unworthy or unattractive. And I want you to remember that we are human. None of us are perfect. Please don't compare yourself to other people. Don't go onto social media and scroll through and look at all these perfect people. They're not real, they don't exist. And the sooner you can accept your body the way it is while striving to get fitter and healthier and stronger, the happier you're gonna be and the quicker you're gonna get there. I do get a lot of hate comments from people saying that I am perpetuating these un unrealistic ideas and telling girls how to get rid of XYZ about their body and I want you to realize I'm not doing that to perpetuate this stuff I'm doing this because I know it's something that bothers you and I know that you want to change them I work in an industry that is really really fake let's be honest the health and fitness industry is not about health and fitness it's all about how you look especially on Instagram bottom line when you watch my videos I want you to feel empowered and I want you to feel good about yourself and I want you to learn to accept your body as it is and focus on just getting strong and feeling good. Um, so please don't compare yourself to others. You are you and that is your power. The sooner you can accept your body, the quicker all this stuff happens. It just kind of falls into place and I know that sounds really airy-fairy, hippy-dippy, but it's true. It's really true. If you want to learn more about my mindset around body image and achieving the results that you want, this is a very underrated video. I personally love this video and I think you should watch it. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in again. Please comment whatever you like down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. Please hit that notification bell as well because I put videos out every single week. So make sure you do that so you don't miss out. And I will catch you in another video. Bye.